friends, it's Tracy and Violet and Boris and Zaya and Maze and Misha from Nova Scotia Living. Oh. <laughs> oh, don't look so chipper, Zaya. Yeah, well, you can spit that one out if it gets too much. Yeah. Just away from the dogs and put the other one in your mouth. Yeah, they you did not, May. Stop. <sighs> Nothing. D the bench is wet, May Misha. <sighs> Goodness sakes. It's supposed to be rainy today. Oh, really? Her pants must have got all wet. Yeah, I bet it did. <sighs> yeah, it's supposed to be rainy today. I'm going to turn that upside down, just like your frown. Turn it upside down. <laughs> oh, we're just waiting on the bus. Here comes Anne and Elliot. And here comes the bus. And Wartz is eating the chair. Of course he is. Yeah. All right, have a good day at school, children. I love you. Morning. For heaven's sakes, Misha. <laughs> morning, Anne. Glad you're back safe and sound. Violet, calm down. It's just Elliot. Stop. Boris. <laughs> Violet. For goodness sakes. Now she's all tangled. I can't wave. Not acceptable behavior, Violet. Oh. All right. I went and woke Mally. Yeah, look. I'm going to do this. I won't show you while I do it just because you've seen me fold laundry umpteen times. I'll give you a break. Whew. But Marquise and Kara are getting ready to leave. And I want to have this all folded before Mally goes on the bus. All right, I'm getting there. That basket is all Marquise and Kara's stuff. There's some socks there I'm not going to do right now. But Mally's pile, Misha's pile, a giant towel pile leaning up against my knee. There's some towels I didn't fold. I'm going to put in the downstairs bathroom and a sheet i got to fill, fold up. And a couple piles there. So... Oh, gosh. That's a lot. I'm going to bring this pile of towels up to the upstairs bathroom, double-check Mally. And um, there's that load that's in the dryer I turned back on this morning that I put on last night just because it was almost dry but not quite. And those guys are just right there. Oh, love ya. Have a good day. Oh, okay. Ooh, I've been busy. Today's compost day, so I cleaned out the fridge. Like, I didn't take everything out and wipe it down, but I took out, uh, there was a container. Oh, God, it was gross. Of uh, three deviled eggs in there that was stuck in the back of the fridge. Yeah, deviled eggs. So I brought them out. And just dragged the green machine across the road. Now it's darn near empty, but it's getting stinky. So whatever little bit of compost we have in there that hasn't been knocked, when it gets knocked over and eaten by raccoons or cats or whatever, I want to get emptied because it stinks. It stinks, Violet. It does. But there's lots of birds out, and it's not cold out. It's um, just a perfect temperature, but it is supposed to start raining. I'm sitting on a recycle bag on the chair. But, yeah, it's supposed to be rainy today. Is Randall up there? I don't see him. So, yeah. Anyways, um, I got another load of laundry going, too. So, it's Mally's bedding and stuff. So, I'll get that done today. I'll check back in a bit. No, come around this way. You're going to get tangled. All right, guys, I had a shower. My hair is just all frazzled right now. It's only like 10 after 10 and I'm just taking these guys out for a little breather. 
I put another load of laundry in, put a load in the dryer, and hung up a couple of towels. So, yeah, that's what's going on. I think I'm either going to make tacos tonight or nachos tonight. Um, if you see my video before this, um, you've seen I got a couple of soft taco kits. And in the Dollarama haul, I got some Tostito chips and salsa. So, I don't know. I might do tacos because I don't have any sour cream. I mean, sour cream is good with tacos too, but I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But the hardest part of that is scrambling up hamburger, which is not hard at all. So, I still have enough time to do that. But I'm just taking these guys for a little stroll. They're, I'm going where they're leading me, down here by the rope. And, yeah, just to make sure there's no accidents. Boris has been doing fantastic with house training. He hasn't had an accident in the house in almost two weeks. And even before that, it wasn't very much. Um, so, I'm so proud of him. But... He obviously needed to pee when we came out, but I had a shower, and as soon as we stepped out the door is when he did his business, so he had been holding it, obviously, like he didn't even walk anywhere, as he just squatted and took care of it. Uh, Violet. But anyways, yeah, he's doing great. Great. And overnight, like, since my husband's not here, he gets to sleep with me and Violet, and I don't even have to take him out in the middle of the night. I make sure he pees and stuff right before we go to bed. And first thing in the morning when we get up, no midnight. I mean, I would if I had to, but he he doesn't seem to need to, so that's good. But I uh, make sure he doesn't have a great big glug of water when he goes to bed. I kind of shut off the water about an hour before he goes to bed. But he has water as much as he wants during the day, so it's not like I'm withholding water but that way whatever water he has in his system he can get it out before he goes to bed and we're good what are you doing he loves tall grass he loves tall grass okay we're down here by the swing set what are you doing what are you smelling Violet's the leader she's smelling something anyways I'll be back in a bit it's not raining now but you can feel it it's going to start any second now, but I thought we'll go out after my shower and, uh, yeah, just do a little walk around. I was just trying to get you out. She was trying to climb up this thing. Is there something up there? Is there a raccoon up there? I have an old video of when there was a hornet's nest up there. If I can think of it, I'll put it down below. Like, from a few years ago. There was a little nest up there we had to get rid of. But there's nothing up there now, Violet. Oh! <laughs> Violet! What is up there? I can't see. I'm holding you guys under there because I can't see. There's nothing up here. Yeah, there's nothing up there. This swing set is really old. We brought it over when we moved from the other house. Uh, Mom and Dad actually got it for... I don't think even Misha and Mazai and Mays were in the picture. Maybe Mazai was a baby. I can't recall. But, and we've painted it once already. But look, it's... It needs another good coat. But I mean, pretty soon my children will... <laughs> Not need this. We'll just have a couple of swings in the trees. Oh, what's going on there? All right. I'm not standing here in front of this all day. So. All right, guys. It's 10.55. I'm going to fry up this, scramble this hamburger. I got two packs, 50% off. Let me just get this because I'm getting bloody. Fifty 50% off. Lean ground. I might still have to strain this though because there might be a little fat in it. I left the I, I opened the door to the back deck open 
because there's not really any flies and stuff out there. And I have it propped open so the dogs can go like play inside and outside and they have been until I just came out to the kitchen. Now they followed me out here and Boris is laying down, so. It's like opening up a whole new room for them. I know that's how I felt when we moved to an apartment when we lived in the city. We always lived in basement apartments and stuff, but we moved to a building that had a balcony and it was like a whole new room. It wasn't even a big balcony, really. Not big at all. Enough for a couple of chairs and a little barbecue. But it was like, it made the space so much bigger for us. And Medea was probably six or seven. Marquise was just a baby. And yeah, of course this is smoking. Why wouldn't it smoke? Bob. All right, Bob. Um, yeah, so anyways, they're going in and out. I'm thinking I need to clear that off good. There's that reclining thing, you know, I bought it second hand for like 50 bucks that you lay on and then you flip yourself upside down. I got it initially because my husband always wanted one. Like he said, it would help his back. And I did it quite a few times, but it just took up so much space in the house. I put it out on the deck and it's out there, but nobody ever uses it. And same with, uh, sit down rowing thing that used to be mom's like there's stuff out there taking up space that doesn't need to take up space is what i'm pretty much getting at to clear that off uh when the kids were really little it was cleared off when we first moved in i had like one of those water tables for little kids and a little table out there and stuff <clears throat> i'm just like i like to get it cleared off not that I have any specific plans for it, but I have a chair out there. And in the summer, as long as there isn't a whole bunch of flies, because I don't want flies coming into the house, um, the pups could go in and out and stuff like that. I think that would be fun. But not today, not today, but at least the door is open. It's open right now. They can go in and out if they want to. I have the door, like the opening where you go down on the lawn locked off so they can't go down on the lawn but they're both here in the kitchen with me now anyways so well I'm just gonna get those kits and show ya I found them got two of those soft taco dinner kits and I got enough people that I need a more than one kit so if there's leftovers which there might be it comes with the little wraps and the sauce you know taco sauce and the seasoning kit but I do have jars of taco sauce I think I still have some left I bought 50% off in the laundry room, but after this gets scrambled up, I'll add the seasoning mix. I have cheese i got to shred. I'll just do that in my food processor. And there's lettuce in there if they want lettuce and salsa. And yeah, it'll be good. I'm just trying to get this stuff out. Yeah. So I'm getting it done early, but that's okay. It's something that's really easy to warm up. You just put it on the stove and warm it up. Not cooking it, but just warming it up. I'd like to try to maybe slip in another little nap with these guys. I've done that the past couple of days. It's not even a long nap, but just to be able to go lay down, it's a wonderful thing. Wonderful thing. I haven't been able to do that for years and comfortably. I used to go the rat race way, you know what I mean? Driving here, there, and everywhere. There's kids here, there. And, yeah, I don't know. Right now, I'm not tired, but if I get tired, I could go lay down for 45 minutes to an hour with these guys and get up, and the kids will be home, and then I warm up supper. And the rest of the day, once the kids get fed, 
then it's not stressful at all. Not that my days are stressful, but I need to make sure that there's food here for them because otherwise they are on me about, oh, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. All you moms and dads or guardians or aunties and uncles, you know, kids are hungry all the time, even though they don't eat everything that you give them. But this is something they will eat. They'll like it. Maze might not want it in a wrap. He might just want the taco meat and the stuff on it. He's kind of funny that way, but whatever. And then I have cucumbers I could slice up or celery. I put a little cheese whiz in it because I got celery yesterday, 50% off. It's still good. I think they've just had a surplus of it. You know what I mean? I might put a little diced onions if I have some in here. Oh, oh don't fall out. Frozen diced onions, because I'm too lazy to cut up onions. I can cut up onions, but since I've discovered this, I love it. Love it. Makes my cooking life so much easier. I'm not really going to season this because the taco seasoning does the job. I'll probably put a can of tomato soup in it. If I was doing one pack of hamburger, I'd do one can, or like half a can. I don't follow the directions on the thing. I don't add water to it. I just add that. And it helps it kind of stick together so it's not crumbly. I don't want it all runny or anything. It doesn't really taste tomatoey. That just goes with the taco seasoning and it turns out fine for us anyways. That's what I do. But I hear the dryer's still going. I think the washer stopped, though. But I feel much better I had a bath, and I'm just trying to control myself. Because af anytime after I have a shower, I get, like, kind of itchy, just because you get moisturized, and you're just, like, want to... But I'm not. I'm being good. I don't want to take a Benadryl, because then I'll get sleepy. I'm just trying to control myself. Those with eczema might know what I'm talking about. You might know. Everybody that has eczema, it's always a little bit different from person to person. I know, well, I think, just in my house, my kids, not all of them have eczema, but some of them do. And some things bother one, whereas they don't bother the other. Like, some people can use certain creams, other people can't. Oh, it's a tricky business, it really is. But, anyways, yeah, these guys are just chilling like villains. Yeah, Violet's looking at me, Boris is under the table. Oh, but, anyways, I'm going to go check that laundry. I'll scramble this up and I'll show you. I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably have to um, strain it. Oh, I don't think I turned the dishwasher on. I'm going to turn that on. I think I have it all ready to go but I didn't turn it on because I was loading the washing machine so I'll be right back all right guys I strained it oh it's all done let me get a can of stuff I got the hiccups I just ate a hamburger patty hamburger patty from yesterday. I made that for supper and hamburger gives me the hiccups. I don't know why, but it does. That's the only thing I know when I eat hamburger. Like straight. Oh, for goodness sakes. I opened chicken noodle soup. I guess we'll be going in Maze's lunch tomorrow. Chicken soup, Violet. I'll just heat that up tomorrow morning. <laughs> God. And put it in a thermos. Goodness sakes. He 
he likes chicken noodle soup a lot. I didn't put it in his lunch this week so far, I don't think. But. All right. Tomato soup. Hopefully that's enough. If I have to, I will add a little water or some milk to it, maybe. Oh. Yeah, that's quite a bit of hamburger. <laughs> we'll probably have leftovers. If there's leftovers for tomorrow, they can have a little side salad, taco salad, because I've got lots of lettuce here. That's something I could have done. Well, I'm not going to tonight because I have those wraps, but... It's taco salad. I don't have avocado and stuff though, but that stuff's expensive. All right, let me add this. This is the seasoning mix. I'm assuming it's just like the old El Paso seasoning mix that you buy individual envelopes at the store. Boris, get out of there. Oh, gosh. I just want to make sure every piece of crumbled hamburger is touched by that seasoning. And there's a bit of onions mixed up in here. So. Yeah, taco salad would be good. Maybe I'll give them the option. Oh, gosh. So this is all cooked. I just need to warm it up so the... Oh, gosh, the seasoning in those packs warm up together and stick, soak into the meat. I know those are technical terms you might not understand, but <laughs> just kidding. cheese in the fridge. Oh. Goodness gracious. I got some old cheddar. I'll slice it lengthwise so it can fit down the chute of my food processor. And it'll be done lickety split. that off for now. that out and do that quick while oh, this cools down a little bit. That's all it needs because I'm going to reheat it up when it comes time to serve. So it'll finish doing this job then. And I'll be right back. All right, there. I'd rather wash this thing than great cheese by hand. Shredded cheese. Oh, gosh. I'm just going to leave this right in here and put it in the fridge. I'm not even going to dirty another dish. That's what I'm going to do because the dishwasher is going anyways. Oh, God. All right. 
I just don't want it to get burnt on the bo bottom or dried out, you know what I mean? But that's good, that's good. I'm gonna put a lid on this so it's gonna really concentrate, like, <sighs> oh, get right in there, so I'll be back. All right, friends. Uh, yeah, it's 2.35 or something. The kids should be home any second now. We did go upstairs, and we did lay down, and we did have a nice little sleep. And I slept longer than I thought, but I needed it. I needed it. But we're just outside. Let me flip you around. While it's having a glug, he just had a great big pee, which was great. And it is raining, but very, very lightly. So I might put you guys away but until they get here, but... Yeah, it's quite warm outside, so are you still sleepy? Oh, there's something coming down the road. It should be any second. I want to have a coffee or something. Oh, if I had gotten up earlier, I would have made it and came outside and had it while we were waiting. But, ooh, is that the bus? It sounds bigger than a bus. Yeah, that's not a bus. <laughs> that's the compost truck. Now, they better stop for my friggin' compost, is what I'm saying. If they don't, I have it right on film. Maybe they came by. Let me see if the lid's flipped open. Oh, it is flipped open. They already did it. Thanks, guys. Thank you. See ya. Thanks. Oh, good. There wasn't really a whole lot in there, because it keeps getting knocked over and cleared out, but... They got whatever I put in there this morning, didn't they? Oh, you wait. The kids will be home to play with you. Oh. Yeah, no, it's it's quite mild out. And a little breezy. Not bad. Look, I was rocking back and forth. Look how handsome he is. He really does have a handsome face. Oh, oh no, the water bucket. <laughs> Now, is that the bus coming? That sounds down on the main. No, Violet. Don't be so dramatic. No. That's some... Yeah, I don't know. That was down on the road behind us. Down on the river road. Oh, alright. There's the bus. Somebody, uh, Saritha just got a delivery. Of course, Violet starts barking. I said, oh, she loves you. He just laughs. Here they come. How was school? Good. They're twisted around the picnic table now. Yeah, just walk around so they follow you. Oh, oh, for goodness sakes. Misha's run over to help her. Oh, how do you know? Oh. Thank you, Misha. All right, I just warmed up the meat. There's that taco sauce. I put it in a cup. The cheese. This is that salad left over. Oh, there's a couple of brown bits but it's I'll eat those I cut up another cucumber and added it to it and I warmed up these tortillas um, that's what supper's gonna be what's your problem do you want some water you just ate oh those guys were howling for some food too so I gave them their food and Alright, I'm going to start getting plates ready. I'm not talking to you, Mish. I'm going to get the plates out. Big. 
whatever salad is left over, I'm going to eat it. Because I'm not going to have it with the tortilla. This one can be for Mazzaias plate. Juanita. Just a little bit. What? Yeah, it's blocked off. I opened that door to the back deck again. should have had sour cream but I don't have any so we're just gonna make do Boo. I scared you yes you did this one's Mazzara's do you want lettuce right in your wrap or do you I'm putting hers right on the side and you can do your own I know I just cut up a cucumber and added it to it I want lettuce. In your wrap? Uh, no. On the side, and then yeah. you can add it. Okay. Except I don't want cucumbers on it. You don't want cucumbers, you just want the lettuce. Okay. All right. Oh my fast. Okay, this is I'm going to get a picture of it. And then I'll Ooh. whip up these guys' as plates. How am I supposed to feed? Just wanted to catch Boris tilting his head because it's raining out there now. Stop it, Violet. <laughs> it's raining outside and you can hear it, so he's like, what is that? <coughs> Violet! He's just enjoying the sounds of uh, nature. Boop! <laughs> Everybody had supper. Mazaya and Mally are outside taking the dogs out, and it's friggin' pouring. I said, you don't have to go right now. But... That's just one of their things they do after supper is take the dogs out for, and they wouldn't wear the big yellow uh, raincoat because I guess it's not cool enough. I don't know, but I got the towels ready. Oh, he's going to be soaked. Come here, Boris. <laughs> oh, Okay, just bring him in the house then. Yeah. He's friggin' soaked. Don't let him go in the kitchen. I got a towel. Oh. These guys are completely soaked, like to the bone. <sighs> Mazaya and Mally are out here. Listen to the rain now. You could almost have a shower out there. Yeah. <sighs> Listen to it. It sounds nice. I should take that chair in when we go. Yeah, listen. Oh, I love that sound. All right, friends. Well, it is 6.03. I have Mally with me. She's actually gone in to get her friend Rain. And it's pouring rain outside. But uh, Violet, Violet, you know you're not going to be able to sit up there. She's gone in to get her. They're going to that artist way. So I'm driving the girls, and then they'll be picked up by her mom, and Mallory will be dropped back. But I just put the gas in. I put 60 bucks worth in this van. It was on E, and it's not even halfway full. 60 bucks, and the gas is going up tonight. Friggin' ridiculous. Going up seven cents, I think. $60. It's almost half full, but it's not half full. Like... Uh, no wonder there's like shortages of people at work and stuff. People that work in town that don't live in town. How can you afford? Why is it worth going to work when all your money's going towards gas? You know what I mean? People that work minimum wage jobs, they spend every single penny that they have on transportation. And then they get to work only to give that money over to the gas and have no life. 
and never mind being a parent, a single parent, my lord, and the price of everything, oh, I'm just bitching, excuse my language, but ridiculous, ridiculous, I would have liked to fill this sucker up, but I don't want to spend like over a hundred bucks on, yeah, anyways, I'm just complaining, but just waiting on the girls, I have Violet with me, I left Boris with Kara, but Violet goes everywhere with me, but, um, Boris, he was soaked, and he was excited that those guys are home, and I'm just like, come on, Violet, let's sneak out while we can, and if it was a nicer day, I would stay out and go walk on the beach with the two dogs, but it's raining, it's pouring, I'm just gonna drop them off and come home, and that'll be that. What the heck? Come on. What do you think, Violet? Yeah, anyways, I'll be back. I just want to show you. Look, this big baby. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> this big belly. I know, Violet thinks it's all foolishness. Don't you? Foolishness. Beautiful boy. Well, good morning, friends. It's the next day. Boris. I'm just taking these guys for a walk. It's just after six. Oh, gosh. Happy Friday, everyone. But I'm going to end this video. Uh, so I can start a new one. We've got a busy day. Kind of a busy day ahead of us. Uh, but you'll see that in the next video. Just a minute, Bo Violet. Oh gosh anyways thanks for hanging out with me yesterday supper was a success there's a little bit of taco meat left oh oh are you gonna gear up are you gonna gear up no you're playing with a piece of grass oh gosh let me turn you around um yeah so anyways thanks for hanging out with us yesterday it was a good day I'm glad it's going to be the weekend. I'm so glad it's going to be the weekend. But with that, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, <laughs> God. All right. <clears throat> With that, I'm going to say have a good night, or have a good morning, and I will. See you tomorrow. Bye! Boink.